What is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I've got a little bit of work going on with this car today. Uh, nothing too serious, but if you guys have a 718 Cayman, one of these four cylinders, you guys should be familiar with the ticking noise. So hopefully what you guys hear is not rod knock, and instead it's just what's called a lifter tick. So these 718 Caymans occasionally have a ticking noise when starting them up after sitting for a while. Uh, I suspect it's due to the hydraulic lifter, but don't worry, that doesn't mean you have to replace the whole part. So I've got a solution for you guys, and uh, some of these causes for your hydraulic lifter ticking can be easily fixed. So we're gonna be going over those reasons why they tick today, and uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys my solution to it. hear the noise that we're going to be going after right now and I'm going to show you guys so listen real closely so I'm really glad I just recorded me pulling out of the garage because you could hear that ticking and it doesn't always happen. So that ticking noise usually only happens like if the car's been sitting for a while. A uh, weird thing about that is uh, I actually drove the car yesterday. Uh, it's pretty inconsistent. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. In my experience, the lifter quiets down as the oil temperatures rise and it becomes unnoticeable within the first two or three miles of driving. From my research, this isn't anything to worry about. And as long as you give your car enough time to warm up, you won't run into any problems. Some people in the 718 community say it's the sound of the direct injectors, but I'm not convinced. Uh, I, I know it's likely the hydraulic lifter because I noticed that the sound goes away within the first few miles of driving. Today, I'm gonna be focused on eliminating the noise from the hydraulic lifters, which I think is what you guys heard in that clip earlier. So this is the solution to all my problems, hopefully. Before I tell you too much about this oil additive, let me explain to you guys the hydraulic tick, why it happens, and why this oil additive can be the solution to all of our problems. So why do these things tick anyway? Well, one can be improper maintenance of your car. So if you're due for an oil change and this sounds new to you, changing it might not be a bad idea. But I recently changed the oil on my car, so I know it can't be that. And another reason for the annoying tick is low oil levels. I just checked and my oil levels are fine. This should be obvious, but use the proper oil viscosity for your car. And the last reason, and the reason that we hope it's not, is that it's a bad lifter. But this car doesn't even have 10,000 miles yet. So I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that it's not that. I'm just gonna say that I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just a consumer who had a problem with the ticking. I looked online for a solution, and this seemed like a really trustworthy one. This is made in Germany. So let me explain to you guys why I think this Liqui Moly is gonna be the solution to the problem. A lot of people had positive experiences with it and said that it fixed their problem. I haven't seen anybody online doing it to their own Cayman, so I'll be the first and uh, I'll show you guys how it works for me. So by discovering the causes for a lifter tick, I know that in my case, it can only be two possibilities. I've changed the oil, so I know that the oil is clean and the car has less than 10,000 miles on it. So I know that the lifters are likely not bad. It's either dirty oil deposits restricting the oil passages or this is just forever gonna last and it's just Porsche's design of the turbo four engine and it's just the nature of the engine. So Liqui Moly claims that their additive will, and I quote off of their website, reduces hydraulic tappet noise, cleans oil holes and ducts in the oil circuit, and ensures that the hydraulic tappet once again works optimally. It later says, it improves the function of the timing chain tensioners filled with oil pressure, which can result in the reduction of timing chain noise. So based on what I've read online, this Liqui Moly hydraulic lifter additive seems like exactly what I need and hopefully it's gonna fix my problem. And uh, I am gonna use a funnel so I don't spill this all over my carpet. So this entire bottle is 300 milliliters of oil additive. That's enough for 0.8 to 1.6 gallons of oil or three to six liters of oil. This engine holds roughly six quarts of oil uh, that is about 1.5 gallons or 5.6 liters. So that kind of puts us on the high side of things. So I'm gonna mix about three quarter of this bottle, maybe a little bit more. All right, so I've just put about three quarters of this in. So with that being said, let's take this funnel out and let's put these oil caps back on. Here I am from the future. It's been about a week now, and I gotta say, the ticking noise has really gone down. Like, I don't hear it at all. 
And like I said earlier, I know that it's kind of spotty. Sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. I really think that the additive fixed it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep a live thread in the comments, okay? I know it's only been a week, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I wanna go ahead and post this video for you guys. But about a week in, I'm hearing no ticks, but uh, I'm gonna keep a live thread in the comments and I'll keep you guys up to date. And uh, every week or so, I'll hop in and check it out and see if you guys have any questions for me. As of one week, we've got no ticking. So time will tell if it continues, uh, it might come back. That's how I did it. And that's how I fixed the lifter tick as of now. If you guys are watching this video and it's a little old, go ahead, go down to the comments and I've definitely updated you guys. If you guys have any questions, just shoot me a message in the comments section. I'll be quick to get back with you guys. If you guys are interested in some of my other videos, click on this one that YouTube thinks that you'll like. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video.